One main world, one creation dream. To actually cover all the items first, okay? And when you got the hero recipe, we are going to create another another um, specific area. So, We are going to move to the plugin, uh, volume uh, plugins, okay? So in here we are going to have like different items, remember, and I'm going to show you that very quickly. Okay, so in the game, after you choose here, like different hero, as an example, this one, and after this time it uh, goes to zero, we are going to start the volume section, okay? So in the building section, you are going to have a specific set of items. You are going to have some blocks and also you are going to have the upgrade block and the downgrade block. Okay. Of course, you cannot exit. Remember that you are going to be trapped here, but you can use the building items to build your stronghold. Okay. As an example like this, you can put everything like this and you have the items to actually upgrade. That means that your blocks are going to be stronger or the downgrade one that will allow you to um, actually do the contrary thing so you can actually just make a, your strong hold be a little bit powerful okay so we are going to learn the basics about those items and we are going to start for this uh, with uh, some basic things. So we are not going to use this. We already covered this. We are going to learn how to create the basic block, okay? So the basic block is the one that you are going to use to build your scenario. But very important, guys. Probably you already create your scenario. Something that you need to be sure 
is that the players won't be able to destroy your scenario. That's the most important part. And also, in my end, I have two types of snow, the wall snow and the floor snow. The floor snow is going to be important because the players are going to recharge um, the, their snowballs there. And this one is going to be a little bit different. It looks the same, but it's actually different. So let me show you. The one I got in the walls, it's ID 21. And the one that I got in the floors is 20011 and it's the snow block. So this one is very similar, but it's not the same, okay? So first we are going to create the basic block. For this is going to be very easy. Just create a block. Just hit add a new one, create. And when you create it, you are going to have the next, okay, what happened here? The next um, information, okay? So, Now, for the attribute, guys, we are going to put the next one. Blast resistance, just put it in one. And as we are going to have different levels, this is very important, the players will be able to break those blocks. So remember, the hardness for your blocks is going to start in 1.5. This is going to give the player some seconds to break it. It's OK. Now, sliding acceleration is going to be zero. And all the other things are going to be zero. No drop items. This is very important. Collision solid and broken projectile is going to be off. Okay. As you see, no triggers, no partials. Just save it. And you are going to have with this uh, your first item here. Okay. Now, on here, you are going to see that we got also an upgrade blocks item and a downgrade blocks item, okay? So we got those two right here. What we are going to do is that we are going to create those items too, okay? For now, we are going to move here and we are start creating one of them, okay? So for creating the first one, we are going to just go here and we are going to select MISC, okay guys? Very important, select MISC. Once you created MISC, you are going to have the normal UV to create your items, uh, so create one from zero, and we are going to start with the upgrade block, okay? So just put the information here, I put upgrade block, I also plug an icon before that and the description to upgrade the block before the level. I use a specific concept, and it's the ice is going to increase the coldness and it's going to increase the level of your blocks, and the fire of groups is going to decrease it. For this one, I use this icon, and now let's go to attribute. Numbers of a stack is going to be less and in the skills, you don't have to put any skill on it, okay? Just keep it like it is. As you see, just name and description. And for the downgrade item, you are going to just copy and paste that one and just change the information. In my case, I use fire and it's going to be downgrade. The, the icon is going to be pointing that words and it's the same information, okay? So, you're already supposed to have those two created, guys, okay? Like, this is going to be like the UE that the players will have in their inventory when they start uh, to create the map, okay? So, as you see here, after I select everything here, all right, All right, so once more, um, as you see here, you have the block that we just created. We also have here the upgrade cloud and the downgrade block, okay? And that's what you are going to use on boiling system. But also, we need to create something more. And it's the basic block that is going to be the same, that the one that we just with created. But remember that also you are going to have different levels for your blocks. 
so we are going to start creating those blocks okay so what we are going to do guys just go here go to your blocks and uh once more we you can see my levels here i got level one level two level three and level four and those are going to be have also the setup so just remember when you access here you are going to hit create it and probably you are going to have your snow block already created so select that one and select confirm once you did it or once you do it sorry you are going to have like this interface just here put a different name and put something for the levels in that case i use plus symbols but you can put something like level two so that's going to be the next block attributes and everything is going to be just the same but remember for the previous one i got something like this i just add a little bit more of a harness here so i think it's going to be a little bit harder and just hit save and return okay then you have to do the same create another block but the other one the level three try to for everyone to change them all okay so in this case the first one was just snow the second was was a snow brick now it's like something like ice brick with snow on it and the attribute is just the same the previous one but five more okay of course as is ice i put 1.5 on the slide so the players will slide over it but all the setup is the same the only thing that changed here is the level remember in here you can put also level Point three. All right, uh, yeah, that's it. You can do that. And finally, create another one. Okay, you can use as much levels as you want. In my case, I only have four different levels, but you can create more, of course, depending of your system. Okay, so check this. Surprise! Uh, that is going to be the last level. It's just the same, but okay. And that very important guys on here i just put more harness as you realize the only thing that changes is the harness okay guys so don't worry for that just put more okay okay you still hearing the voices over the teachers because i i wasn't able so just give me a second Yeah, but I think now you cannot hear anything because I've just switched one second to the normal sound and I don't hear anything. Hola, yeah, one, two, three, doing a test. Yeah, it seems that now you are not able to, to hear those extra voices. That was very upset, uh, of course. Now, guys, once more. Once more, uh, we already got those items created, okay, guys? So that's very important after you have the full levels here. I got another trick and it's at the next one, okay? And the next trick, guys, is that um, if you are selecting your hero, there are some areas in which you cannot build anything, okay? so as an example if i try to build here you're going to see that nothing happens and if i try to build him here you are going to see that the block stands on the border but i cannot build something here and also you cannot build on the ice okay if i do this sorry okay as you see you cannot build in different areas uh well in the ice actually you can build but well, in this area you cannot build, and the easiest way to do it is just by creating an invisible block. That's it, okay? So how do you create this block? Uh, this block is just going to be four areas that you don't want the players to build with. Just create a new block, create the block from zero, and the information just put on bullet zone. You cannot pull here. And the attribute is going to be blast resistance, minus one, hardness, minus one, and very important, guys. The only uh, the collision needs to be air, and the appearance needs to be this one uh, because this is going to be an invisible block when you are playing the game. So just scroll down here and select this one, okay? Art wall and setup. Now that's covered, and now you will have that item. So 
Wherever you want the pliers not to pull with, just put a lot of those blocks like this. And you are going to see that pliers cannot pull on that area because, well, the other area is already covered by a block. It's the easiest way to do it, so you are going to avoid the pliers to um, be able to join. And also that pliers can move around these areas. This is going to be a completely one. Okay, at the moment, if you have any questions, because we are going to cover the next part, okay? And it's how you are going to end up for selecting the characters. So I'm going to be more specific on this one because I want you to learn a little bit about the codes, okay? So probably we are not going to cover everything on here because this actually is going to be very easy. But I want to be a little bit more specific in main guns as you are going to learn a shooter, okay? So first, let's start with the main part and is here the uh, snowball okay so the snowball for this game is something very important because it has some extra triggers okay that will help us out to break some blocks okay so we are going to start creating the snowballs it's not the same that you can find in game of course you can edit the one that you have in game but it's you are going to find out this and it's that we can have it right here as you see we don't have the snowball for edition here so it's going to be a little bit complicated so what we are going to do instead is that you are going to hit create hit create and you are going to select enamel or project out here just confirm once you hit confirm you are going to have at the next menu okay you are going to have all these options all right and I already got it right here finished, so I'm going to show you my setup, okay? Name is going to be Snowball, of course. The description is going to be destroys snow blocks and push pliers and damage pliers, okay? That's going to be the description. Now, for attributes, you are going to have, like, different attributes here, okay? So the first one is going to be item type, just keep it like it is. On here, select a max stack of numbers as 99 and throw all, keep it completely off because we are going to use the guns to throw the bolts, okay? Now, for projectile attack, that it will stay on 15 or less. Remember that depends on your classes, but always be sure that the damage is less. When you are using a weapon to shoot it, the damage depends on your weapon. When you are throwing the object completely alone, it's going to depend from here. So, that's going to be the basics for the guns. Attack type is going to be single shot. You have three options, two options, explosion and single shot. Single shot is just like a normal bullet and arrow. An explosion is going to do an explosion when it hits, okay? Gravity is how much curve is going to have. So more gravity, your gun is going to decrease a little bit. So a good way to reduce the range of your guns, as an example, if you don't, don't uh, if you have a keeper, you don't want your keeper to, to shoot very far away, just shoot in front of him. So the good way to do it is just by reduce by increasing the gravity, okay? So it's going if you don't put gravity, it's going to be like a sniper. If you put a little bit more gravity, it's going to just get down before. And if you put more gravity on it, it's going to be even more. So it's going to probably get on here, okay? So that's going to affect. Now the initial speed is going to be how fast the gun is going to work. You can put a lot of speed here. My recommendation is never use something less than 80 because when you use less than that and the player is moving forward, forward your player is actually going to hit itself, okay? For this one, just a setup in medium. Velocity attenuation, guys, is... Um, if you activate this, it's going to, to start reducing the speed of the gun. Okay? And when that happens, um, every second is going to be less and less. If you put this, probably your gun in some point is going to be like completely stop it and it's going to fall in the ground. And if you put not gravity, it's just going to be freezing in the air. Okay, so you be, have to be very careful with this one. Now, in hit and target, you have like different information here. And let me explain it one by one. If you put collision creature, it's going to hit pliers but it's not going to work when it hits walls. As an example, blocks is going to stay on there. 
If you put blocks, it's going to do the other way. So it's not going to collide with creatures, but yes, with blocks. So as an example, if a player just gets in the way, um, the, the block is just going to stop, the bullet is going just to stop it there and it's going to fall. Creatures and block is going to work fine for both of them. So that's the most usefully. Triggering immediately, you can use it to do some triggers because what it's going to do is to, boom, um, works as soon as it gets shot, it's going to work. So an example, if you put an explosion and you put trigger in melee, the explosion is going to be in the area where the player or where the shooter is. So you can do an explosion system with that. As an example, you put in any part um, the trigger and it's going to do explosion. And no trigger is going to be something like a ball that you shoot and it's going to be there forever, okay? Just keep it in creatures and blocks. The trigger delight is the amount of time that is going to take before doing something. As an example, if you put a trigger delight in between, I don't know, three seconds, when it falls to the ground, it's going to stay there for three seconds and then it's going to do the explosion, okay? Recyclable is going to be if, you, if once it hits, it's going to create the item back so the players can pick it up like the arrows. So in this case, we don't want that, so just keep it off. A break a block, it's very important. This is not going to work with all blocks, we only with blocks that says breakable, okay? So just keep it off for now. Now for skills, uh, you are going to add a new item skill, you are going to hit knock off projectile. And what is going to do this is just to push the player, okay? No back is how far away it's going to push me from the horizontal way. Um, blow up force is how up is going to shoot me. So in my case, it's inverted. Okay. So the right way is supposed to be five on here and two on here. Okay. Notice that you can put negative values. So as an example, let me put an example. If you are here and you get shot by this direction, if you put a positive value, it's going to push the plier backwards. But if you put a negative value, it's going to push the plier to the direction where the plier has been hit. So as an example, if you want to do something that attracts the plier, like pull down the plier, just put a negative number on there, okay? All right, so very important, the target team is going to be different teams, so it's only going to work in the enemies. And the range type is going to be single target. Now, for partial triggers, don't get overwhelming here. I, you are going to see a lot of scripts, but it's the same script. You only need to change a couple of things, okay? So you are going to create a new trigger once you got this inside the, the ball. Remember, we're still inside the ball. And the trigger is going to be called the name of your block, okay? So it's now it's going to be for the level one block that we just created. And the actions are going to be the next. When uh, actually it's hitting a target, then you are at a condition, and the condition, guys, is going to be block. It's going to be determine block type, okay? And uh, the block type is going to be your level one snow. So remember that we create four different blocks um, the level zero, the level two, the level three, and the level four. We are, you are going to select just the first one, okay? When you create this one, when you hit that one, the action is going to be block and break the block, okay? That is the last one, okay? And you are going to put event position on it, okay? Just as you see. Then you are going to copy and paste, and you are going to change, as an example, for snow level 2, okay? When you got the snow level 2, you are going to have the same information, but you are going to change two things. In the condition, you are going to put the level number two block, okay? In my case, it's going to be dark snow level two, okay? In yours, is going to vary depending on how many blocks did you have, how many levels. In my case, it's going to be the level two, okay? And the action is going to be block, replace block, that is the one that you find here. And what we are going to do on this, what actually we are creating right now is that whenever a block gets hit, uh, it's going to get less levels, okay? So let me show you once more, once again, an example for this. As an example, I'm just going to put 
15 seconds here. Now let's put the same seconds. So it will be able to change some blocks, okay? So what we are creating right now, as we already create the levels, it's the next thing. So as an example, I'm going to upgrade this one, okay? I like at different levels. So notice that when I hit a block like this, that is level 4, it's going to switch to the next level. If I hit once more, it's going to be to the next level, or to the previous level, sorry. And when it gets to the snow, it's going to be completely breakable. So we are doing that right now, okay? So, once more, move back to your snowball. And we already created the basic, that is the one that disappears. Now we have the two. So whenever the block level two is create its damage, it's going to switch to level one. So, in that case, uh, you probably got it like this. You are going to delete that action and you are going to put the new action, that is the replace block. And we are going to replace block in pen position with a snow plus, okay? So that means the level the normal level snow that is going to be the basic one okay and we are going to copy and paste this four times okay so remember the level three was just change information so the level three it's going to be transformed in level two and the level four is going to be transformed in level three and that's it this one actually is not using so no I, i'm not going to teach you those that one because it's something that you don't need okay it's something that i experimenting but it's not working so don't worry for that, but on this point, we already have covered now we're snowball, okay? So now we are going to cover some things about our hero, okay? So we got like different things for our hero, okay? So remember, every time that we got in the fighting stage, and that is something from the first... Uh, Uh, like different icons for it, okay? Or different items that we covered in the first class. Not like the, we made it, but we covered for what is going to work. But a quick review about this is that the items that we are going to have in fight is our main gun, a skill, and our guns. And also a passive skill here, okay? So as an example, uh, my gun is going to make vary depending on the mob, okay? And my skill is going to vary too, as an example, and here I have a bowler that can be reborn. And also I have a passive skill that will heal me every time I get some damage, okay, for this hero. So that's what you are going to see here. We need to create um, the items for each one of the players, okay? So we are going to create the main gun, the skill gun, and the passive skill. And then we are going to create a model, okay? Probably the model and the passive skill we are going to cover tomorrow, but just let me show you very quickly how it works for the others, okay? So, we are going to start by creating the guns, okay, so guys? So, very important, I'm going to explain better this. So, just go to create once more, and you are going to hit your firearms okay uh, we are going to start with that one so once you create it i'm going to explain it with you so on here as always you have like the information guys okay as an example you can use snowball shooter here okay and on here you can put the description as an example damage 10 uh, speed 10 and ammo Three, okay, on here try to put the information so the players are going to know better how your gun works, okay? And that's very important. Remember the information is going to be very important. Welcome EM and welcome mate Tram Boy. Welcome to the class. So now that we got here that information, remember to choose a model for your weapons. In weapons you have like different models, you can use as an example the bazooka. All right, and you can use a miniature here. And here is the important thing. I know that this, you already know how to do it, but I'm going to explain part by part here. So it's going to be very important if you want to do a shooter. So this part, you cannot change it, but we have the first option here. And 
we have like different options here, right? We have the pistol, we have the soft matching gun, the sniper and the matching gun, okay? So, what is a pistol what will be the difference? The pistol, it's going to shoot very slowly. It's going to have also a sound that is going to be the pop, pop, pop. And also, it's going to have like more a, a, a slow behavior. So, every time you shoot the pistol, it's going to have a cool recoil. So the recoil is when you shoot a gun, it's going to be how much it's going to move your aiming point. So the pistol has a big aiming movement. So if you put this, uh, when, whenever weapon you do, it's going to have a, a, a big movement on this. The submachine gun is going to shoot more guns and it's going to have the sound like... It's going to have that sound when you shoot it. And actually, it's going to have a lot of coal, but not a big one like the free pistol, because the pistol is going to move your aim like boom. It's going to have like small movements, but it's going to have a lot, so it's going to spread the bullets around, and you can automate this. The sniper is going to have a special skill that is that you can use the, the aiming big um, zoom, and also it's going to have the sound like boom, and it's going to make an echo around all the area. And also it's going to, to be the slowest one, so every time that you shoot, you probably need to recharge. But it's going to be the most persistent one, uh, when you point it, it's going to hit. And the matching gun is going to do something similar, it's going to spread a lot of area, but it's not going to have uh, too much uh, decoil, okay? So choose whatever you want to do for your map. In my case, I'm going to keep the pistol. The damage is going to be how much damage is going to do. Very important, guys. If you hit on the head, it's going to do more damage. So, um, so now on here, for the damage is going to depend off if you hit the head or you hit the body. If you hit the head it's going to do 15 of damage, sorry, the body. If you hit the head, it's going to do 30 of damage, so you have to calculate that. The free amount rate is how fast the gun is going to throw the whip, the bullets. So as an example, if you put a high number here, it's going to like shoot a lot of bullets, like... But if... And I know that probably you are going to do memes of about my sounds. But if you put a slot here, so as an example, you put that same here, sorry, it's backwards. So, if you put that 0, 10 out here, it's going to shoot a lot of guns very quick. If you put a medium in the value, it's going to shoot like not too much bullet per second. And if you put um, a high number here, it's going to, to shoot very slow. So, you shoot and you are going to have a big delay and then you are going to be able to shoot again, okay? Here you can have the amount of bullets, okay? But this depends a lot of what we select here. If, as an example, we select 6 here, um, the player needs to recharge at 6 bullets, okay? But that's only if we put a limited ammo. If we put infinity mag, it means that the player doesn't need to reload, okay? Yeah? But this is the amount of bullets that they, every load is going to have. On here, you can choose the gun. So, for this game, you need to choose the gun that we just created, that is going to be the snowball that we just created, okay? And the firing mode, you have two options. Infinity Magazine, Infinite Ammo or Infinity Ammo. Infinite Ammo means that every time that you shoot, it's not going to... You don't have to have, like, the item for the guns in the inventory. Okay. Uh... Okay, but, very important, uh, you need to recharge, okay? So that means that even if you don't have a, the gun icon here, it's going to wait a second and it's going to recharge and it's going to keep shooting. If you put finite ammo, that means that you will have to have uh, the ammo in your inventory. So every time that you are shooting, if you get it with no guns, if you don't have anything, you are not going to be able to shoot. But if you have the ammo item in your inventory, it's going to recharge. An infinite magazine means that you can uh, just keep like shooting, 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 and you don't need to reload. So for this one, we are going to use finite ammo, okay? Because we are going to put the, the bullets in the inventory of the player. 
Now we have the last two options. And the first one is the initial speed bonus. That is going to be how much extra speed you are going to have. Remember when we set up the, the ball, uh, we are going to have like, um, like a speed, yeah? With this, you are going to increase the speed. So as an example, if you put one on here, the speed is going to be the double. So that means that you are going to have the double of the speed of the normal gun. If you put two, it's going to be a lot more speed. So in this case, uh, if you want the same, using the same weapon um, that has gravity, for your weapon to go farther than go farther, just move this, okay? That is going to increase the distance that uh, your gun is going to travel with. And now we got the final one that is the weight. The weight is how much uh, speed is going to be reduced by the player because it's like the player is charging a big gun or a small gun, okay? So a small gun, you don't put too much weight so the players will be able to be faster moving. But if you get a big gun, the player is going to have something like reduce the speed of the player because the, the weight for that is much like kilograms. It's it's too weight for me, it's too heavy, so I need to move a little bit faster. So if you put a number, a big number here, it's going to the player is going to be slower. And if you put a low number here, the player is going to be faster when the player selects this item, okay? So I hope this explains a little bit better how it works for this. And welcome Luna. I'm not sure about if it's Luna, but welcome to the class. And yeah, that's how you change that. And, and it's very important, guys. So, I'm going to show you the setup I made for the guns here. Okay, so for example, um, let's start with Monger. Monger actually is not a gun, so it's not going to have like any um, any shoot because it's a metal weapon. But Hella Gun has a name. Of course, I'm showing here how much ammo, how much range, and how much damage. I got a name for it. The attribute that I use is submachine gun to shoot faster. The damage is going to 15. As we want this to be shooted faster than the others, it's going to have 200 of uh, fighting fire rate that is going to be fast, but no like a fire gun, it's just like a normal gun. Bullets, I put five, finite mode, half auto. Oh, I forgot to explain this. Half auto is means, auto means that every time you don't need to, to remove the click, so. This is going to be related with your mouse. For manual, you need to click every time that you shoot. For full auto, you can just keep the finger on, press it, holding it on there, and it's going to shoot. And for hello auto, you can do both. You can shoot click by click, and if you click a little bit, it's going to, and you hold it for a while, it's going to start shooting continuously. Okay, so that's the difference. In this case, I put it half auto. Initial speed bonus, I place one, and weight, I put seven, so it's going to reduce a little bit the speed of the player. And that's it for the guns, guys. For the other example, just to show you two different examples, I used the lucky gun. It's going to have less ammo, it's going to have less range, and it's going to have more damage, okay? So for this one, I use the pistol, as it's going to be a single weapon. Damage is going to be 20, that is bigger than the others, but it's still a low one. Okay. Okay, it seems that was a problem with the connection, but it seems I'm back online, okay? So for the fire interval, it's going to have also a low one, but it's going to have less uh, bullets. Once more, the ammo is still being the theme. Um, the snowball, but remember, be sure that is the one that you created, not the one that is in the game. Uh, the, the ammo is still full ammo, and if you see, it's giving less speed bonus because it's not going to be that um, distance, it's going to be short distance, and it's going to have no weight at all, okay? All right. Now, we left one that is going to be the meal weapon, okay, guys? So how do you gonna do the mill weapon? For creating a mill weapon, what you have to do is just go here, you are going to hit on create, you are going to add the one, and you are not going to hit here, guys. Instead of that, you are going to select tools. All right, tools is going to be the one that allows you to create a mill weapon, okay? So, on here you put as an example, sword, okay? 
The description is whatever you want to do, remember to put the damage in it. And on here you can choose the model, okay? As an example, you can choose a normal sword. And here is when you can see the attributes. So, if you put tools on here, it's okay. It's going to still be a mill weapon. On here you can choose the damage. Attack cost durability will be how much the durability is going to get whenever it hits a target. The charger time is how much you need to hold the button, how much you need to hold this button, the second one, or you need to keep pressing to use the skill, okay? And very important, if you would want to do uh, another tool, you can use whatever here, but if you want to do a short, just keep here in known. That's going to make your weapon. This is the tool level. If you put five, it's going to have a special skill. This is going to be the efficient tool. On here, just keep it in one. On here, just put one. And very important, if you are doing a shooter, be sure that the durability is height, that the repair materials could be whatever you can find on the game. As an example, you can choose the same weapon. So in case the player needs to repair the gun, you use repair materials and the restoring value, it's going to be high, okay? So, and here is how much items of this item it needs to be repaired. As an example, you can use one to be repaired. And that's it. With that, you can create a mill gun. As an example, I already got my monger here. As you see, the attributes are the same that you just seen it on the screen. The cut codes and everything. The only difference is that I have a skill. And it's that this is a shooter, this is going to be a mill weapon that can shoot some projectiles, but it's going to do slower. So what I did is add a shoot projectiles. I choose here the projectile that I want to hit. I choose here the acceleration that we are going to give to this one. A skill type, no target. And I put cast after target. This is how much the player needs to charge. So non-charge mode, it means that when you click it, it's going to shoot it. Caster after charge uh, means that you are going to need to hold it and when you hold it for that much amount of time, it's going to shoot it. But uh, as an example, if you hold it only the half of the time, it's going to travel the short of the distance. Max charge only means that you need to hold it for two seconds and when after two seconds, it's going to shoot the gun. If you hold it less than that, it's not going to shoot anything. And autocast at max charge is that you don't have to, to do anything as, as soon as you complete the charge is going to, to launch the weapon, okay? And here you can choose how many times you want to hold it. In my case, it's just five seconds. The cooldown is how many times your item is going to be off after you hit on that. The target team is going to be, which is going to be affected by your skill. So if you choose the same team, it's only going to affect your team. If you choose different team, it's going to affect the enemy. The ammo, it's the, of course, which ammo you are going to use. In my case, I using the same one here. So remember, uh, we are going to recharge with that ammo and the consume number. Okay, and here you have like consume stamina or whatever. So we are going to use the same weapon and we are going to use one to be able to use the skill. Okay, so as you see here, we already covered most of the things. We already got the main gun. And finally, for creating, and this is the prop, you are going to create the skill, right? In my case, this isn't a skill. For using the skill, it's very simple, guys. Create a misc item, just like you create a sword at the beginning of the class. But in the attribute on the skills, you are going to put whatever skill you want to use. Remember, you have a lot of options, or if you are going to do it like this one, that needs to have triggers. Remember that we, um, for the triggers, have a specific one that is going to be the dummy, okay? So once more, it's the same setup that I just showed you for the item, but uh, this one is going to cast above, and you have a lot of options here, okay?